We're here at the Tobin Community Center in Mission Hill, which is one of two early voting locations in Roxbury. We're here to talk to voters and get their experience and perspectives. Gloves, masks, masks, awkward. Um, instead of putting it in the machine myself, I'm, I'm handing it to someone to put it in. You know, to watch me do it, it's very hard for everybody. Multiple people that we talked to mentioned that this is their first time voting early and that they chose to vote early out of fears that their absentee ballots would not be delivered. Recently, I've seen a lot of people lose mail. Um, like when you send, like with the pandemic, when you send mail, like I've sent mail out of the country multiple times in the last few months and it's getting lost. So that's the thing with the absentee ballot. I was going to vote by mail, but there's so much um, doubt about it. I like, and I'm hearing it from everybody else. They want to make sure that they see that their vote get in that machine. Uh, my name is Stan Green and I am a warden with the election department team and this particular component here we're doing the um, early voting and I will function in the capacity of an inspector today. As an undergraduate at Springfield College a big part of um, human service was giving back and understanding what my role and what my obligation is to civic engagement. Roxbury is a historical and diverse neighborhood in a city with a history of racial tension. But fortunately, voters here have not found long lines or wait times, and the process has gone quickly and smoothly. I can't speak much about early voting because this is my first time, but I know how it is on the day, the voting day, and um, it's lines were all the way up to the street, but that's not happening you get to walk in and walk out. Mm -hmm. Any other time I'd be standing in the line, so I think I think it was fair. I think I made a good decision by coming early. So many lives are lost, you know. It was sad the way I got it. I got exposed to it in the hospital. So, you know, when I think about all the people who have died and I watched on the media, so many people the count was going up and up, and I think about how they're not here to cast their vote. Mm -hmm. And for me to be in fear and afraid not to vote because of COVID, I, I, I would be doing a displeasure and an honor to them. I would su suggest that everybody just, just, it doesn't matter who you vote for, vote. Just vote. 